This photo right here is a combination of several different photos and today I will show you how easy it is to create this photo manipulation or anything that is similar to this one. So let the fun begin. Okay, let me show you the preparation for the photo shooting. So I have a tripod and I took a photo of myself intentionally blurred out of focus because I know that I will later be out of focus. You can also take yourself in a focus and blur it in the Photoshop. It doesn't matter and I took as you can see several different photos here so this one this one I'm just throwing the cards all around the place and this is the main card that is here on my finger it's attached with the part of the duct tape so this is it main photo and all others so I will select all of them right here this like that right click and add it open as layers in Photoshop. You can open these however you want in Photoshop. You can use your mobile phone to take your photos, your camera, whatever you want. Just uh, hold the camera on the tripod or phone on the tripod or somewhere in the static place and just take a bunch of your photos and combine them here in Photoshop in the way how I will show you today. Right, so here it is. We are in Photoshop and let's close everything. This is our base photo. So first of all, what I like to do is to decide where I want to post this photo on Instagram or as a thumbnail or on YouTube or whatever. So in that way, I want to crop it or not, because if I don't want to crop it, I will have more space here to fill out. If I want to crop it and put it on Instagram, like four by five, I will have less uh, things to worry about how to populate this space. So I will definitely go with this for Instagram. So something like this, it's perfect. Maybe a little bit to the left. And in case you're wondering why I'm showing you how this photo is made, it's because I made another YouTube channel. It's called Ridiculous Skills. It's all about learning new skills and having fun. And you have the link down there in the description if you want to check it out and support me there. And this photo was the Instagram post and thumbnail for one of my previous videos there. And a bunch of you guys sent me the request to show how this is made. So I decided to do it uh, right here. Okay, so let's continue with our adventure. Let's reveal one by one. So I want first to put this uh, card right there. And uh, there are several ways how you can select this out of the background. You can use quick selection tool and just quickly, as you can see, select this. This is really simple and easy, but it's not perfect selection. If I press Q on a keyboard to go in a quick selection mode right here, as you can see, if I press here, I will go in and out or the Q is keyboard shortcut. You can see that the edges are a little bit rough as you are probably seeing here. And there is a fix for that. You can use brush and just brush out with 100% opacity, black brush. You can go and fix it like that and all around. But for this situation, this is not the option that I want to do it. I want to use a pen tool. So pen tool, really simple way to use it. If you don't know how to use it, I have a video about that. You can check it out on the link right there. And I will just quickly select this and come back soon. Okay, this is it. I'll press Control or Command and Enter to load it as a selection. Control or Command J to just extract it as a separate card and this is it. But now we have another issue. We have rough edges right here. Not rough, but uh, like a clean cut right here, sharp edges. And we don't want that, the original is blurred. So I will just use here the blur tool. Few strokes just on the edges and uh, it is back to blur. And this is what we want. So just a little bit here, mm, not so much, but the back and these edges are more blurred because they are out of focus back, back there towards myself. All right, so I will right click and convert this into smart object just, just in case I want to mess the size. And this is pretty cool. Control or Command T, rotate it, and I will position it right here like I throw this, maybe a little bit bigger towards the camera. And this is already a cool result, like I throw the card. So in this video, I'm learning how to throw cards and cut the objects into half. So check it out, it's really cool. And obviously, first thing that got my attention is this trash right around me. So I want to clean this up. How to do it? Pretty simple. I will create, create new layer, clean up. And you can use clone stamp tool, you can use whatever you want here, what I will use, just a regular brush, but soft, really soft, soft brush right there. And I will sample this color and just brush out here, then sample this color and really nicely brush this and sample this color and just go a little bit more here 
and as you can see just with a few strokes here and there we can lower the opacity too we clean this part up it's uh, this is the blue from the lights there if you want you can also use a brighter blue like to emphasize the lighting effect lightning effect there and lightning lighting sorry lighting effect right there so that's an option if you want if you don't want that you can go with so basically you can you can play with with this so i don't want this too much this is pretty nice and also this part right there i will sample this color and just brush this out okay 100 percent opacity definitely i have my phone in my hand because uh I connect it with my with my camera as a remote control app. You can use cell cell timer. You can use whatever you want. So it's totally up to you. However, you want to take these photos, I can also re erase this because I will cover it with a card. So this is pretty cool. Before and after, amazing. Now we have another issue. We have the issue that if we zoom it, we have a lot of a lot of grain here but as here as you can see but here is clean and then it can cause a bending fortunately i don't see it right here but that's because i'm in 16 bit mode and i'm also in color profile that is pro photo so large color gamut space and also 16 bit uh, colors uh, yeah mode uh, for colors so we cannot see it if you go back to 8-bit we will see banding so the solution is to go with another layer and uh, shift backspace and choose 50 percent gray fill it with that and this is it this is the solution you cannot see anything but of course we need to put it into soft light blending mode if you don't know about blending modes you need to learn that if you want to go seriously with photoshop i have a video about that here so check it out and you will master the all the blending modes by that video so i will go here so the the gray will be invisible but if we zoom it here to see the grain and not grain part we'll go to filter and we need to add noise so just add noise and see to add noise the similar patterns so six percent is okay and also clip to effect only that so basically if we're going we having pretty nice almost same noise um, amount here so that's it this is it we want that also that what i notice here is the part of the wall that i can really easily get rid of if i want okay some line some dirt all right so this is it and because i'm i'm painting on this layer the noise is already applied so i don't need to worry about anything that's the beauty of these kind of effects also, if you don't have cards and you want to create photo like this with the cards, you can go with the Envato elements, as you can see, and just download the cards in any position, any orientation that you want and just put it here. So I have something like this for my needs. So if I didn't have cards or didn't have a way to put a card on my finger and photo, I take a photo of it, I could do this and just rotate and position in Photoshop with that. And Envato Elements is the sponsor for today's episode. In case you don't know, Envato Elements is an amazing website where you can find all the elements for basically any project that you are creating. They have millions of stock photos, stock videos, audio files, sound effects. They have a bunch of Premiere Pro and After Effects, Final Cuts, Da Vinci, transitions, intros, outros, lower thirds, a lot of crazy stuff there also they have my favorite part and this is what i show you with the card amazing a library of 3d objects and that's really cool because you can rotate them and position them however you want and to use them properly for your photo manipulations or anything else and they're expanding their library assets all the time and also they're pretty affordable the annual plan is just 16.5 dollars per month and you have unlimited downloads and also all files are licensed, so you don't need to worry about licensing stuff, everything is covered. So if you want to check out Envato Elements, check out the links down there in the description and enjoy their content there. Right now, let's go back to the video. Right, next thing is just basically cutting these cards out. You don't need to use a pen tool, you can just use quick selection tool and quickly select them. So let me show you maybe a little bit better here. Zoom it a little bit better there, but it's not a perfect selection and you will see but we will blur it even more and we can get away with that so let's see if yeah we can move oops we can move everything and just select this one a little bit better 
Okay, I just want these two for now. Control or Command J and hide this layer and put these cards somewhere here, right? I think it's perfect. So you cannot see these imperfections too much. And also what I want to do, right click, convert to smart object and then apply filter blur, motion blur and just move it a little bit. Not that much, right? A little bit. Let's see the something like something like this and maybe it's a bit too much. So this is it. It's we have like a clean cut and I really like this. So I will do the same. I will fast forward this because I will go to other uh, other layers and just see my face here. Ooh. Other layers and just select a few cards and put it in the same way I did with this. So quick selection tool, select, select, extract, blur and that's it. Also, we can just blur regular Gaussian blur if you want to push it even more to the back background. So this is pretty cool. See these cards, for example, they have a lot of uh, darkness around uh, and we can just do a clean cut. But what is really cool, we can just put it here in a darker area of the screen and uh, we don't need to worry about that. So that's another cool fix. Uh, just for you to, to, to know that sometimes you can just do these kind of stuff and also I can <clears throat> Sorry, I can blur this a bit and push them back Maybe eight pixels and it's almost perfect. So we don't need to worry about that, right? So we can add even more details if we want. Let's just move these cards somewhere here But this is pretty nice. Let's see just if I have wow I have a bunch of cards here and and I have some cards here. So let's Let's see if we can go with these, this, and let's see if I didn't use these cards for the my original photo, but let's see if we can do it. Maybe it will be interesting. So let's push them right here, right click, convert to smart object, and maybe put them Let's see if we put them right down below. Not bad. So let's blur them, motion blur, and also the Gaussian blur. And I'm just copy these blurs so it's closer to myself. It has sense. I pretty much like it. So let's leave it like that. And let's say this is this is okay. Also, we can we can add even more cards here. So we can just mm, let's just see if there is some cards here just for a second. This one is not bad at all. Let's let's select this one. Right, not bad. Here in the corner, I like it. I can make it a little bit darker with the curves. Clip it effect only this card. That's one option. Let's see if the exposure will be better. So the exposure right here, clip it effect the card. Yeah, this is a bit better. And uh, also we can go with uh, these filters with the motion blur. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result. Right, so this is it. Now let's go here and let's make this card even bigger. And now I'll show you how to make this trail that car travel through the air. So that, that kind of effect, I really like it. So I will show you that. Uh, this car is right here. What I don't like here is, let's just see if I move this card somewhere here. Yeah, this is maybe a bit better. I don't want a big mess right there. And also these cards can be somewhere here, just a little bit down, like they're falling down. And these cards maybe a little bit here. Okay, a little bit of cleanup. And uh, this card is too dark. So uh, in order to our eye catch up first that card, that is the most important thing on the photo here, the card is flying, we need to brighten up this card. So it's main card right there. Uh, go with the curves adjustment layer clip it affect only that card and you can see right away the effect it's much better so this is before this is after much better so everything that is be um, further away from the camera I like to make it darker and less saturated and everything that is closer I like to make it more saturated and brighter so hue and saturation and also add not not like that but just a bit just a bit of saturation. I really like it. And uh, this is it for that. 
So what we can do next is to make the car trail. There are several ways how you can do it. I will show you two of them and you can choose which one works best for you. So what I will do, I will copy the card, Control Command J, use the lower portion, lower layer, because it's behind it. And uh, we can make it smaller with Control or Command T, make it smaller, rotate a bit and just put it here, right? Then copy again. Go with the lower one, Control Command T, make it smaller, put it back and do something like this. So you can see there is the card, card is flying. So we can also move it a little bit down. And now the idea is to just add a blur. So we can go with a filter, motion blur. And let's see the, pa uh, the, the, the angle of the blur is pretty much like this. All right. And let's see if we can copy this one to another card. Yes. And also what we can do is just lower the opacity. This one is maybe 50%, 44, it doesn't matter. And this one is a little bit less. And that's one version how you can do it, right? That's one version. And also you can even blur it even more or stretch it. But this is the idea. The second idea is I will hide this. Again, Control Command J, use this one. The second idea is to go and uh, make this a little bit um, like, like that. And then actually, it doesn't matter what was important is motion blur. So I want to blur it a lot to make really nice trail of cards. So you can see this and then use this. I don't want to use it as a smart object. So I will right click and go and rasterize layer, right? We have a regular layer. And now I will just transform it, warp it. So edit, puppet warp, click here, click here. Let's expand the selection a little bit. And click here. Okay. And you know, make an arc, something like, like this. And this one should be somewhere down below something like this. Don't worry too much if this looks pretty bad at this moment of time, but we will fix it. Right, let's, let's, mm, <laughs> let's say that this doesn't look so, so bad, maybe a little bit more of these points for the curve. Okay. And then I will go with control command T transform, right click warp. And what I want to do here is to bring this down. You can also do just with this. Probably it's the easier way. So this is pretty nice. And I can go like this. I will erase the part that I don't like. Let's see here. here, press enter. And now let's create a layer mask and just erase this. We don't want this or this or, or this. And this looks pretty nice. Also, we can use maybe 20 or 30% opacity, just erase this part a little bit more like it's more transparent than this part right there. So let's see. I pretty much like this effect. And now we have that trail of uh, the throw effect, which is pretty cool. So these are two different ways how you can do it. And you can choose whichever work best for your taste and your the different situation. But this is it, right. And now what we can do is separately play with the background. So go right there, we have three layers as a background, we can we can group them control command G background, right and add, let's go with the curves. We can add curves and we can make background darker, we can make brighter, we can add more contrast to the background, whatever we want. So what I like here is just to make it a bit, a bit darker, just a bit, not too much. And uh, also I'll put it in luminosity blending mode, not to affect colors, only the luminance. And this is it. Now we can go and merge everything together with Shift Control Alt E, Shift Command Option E on a Mac, right click, convert to smart object, go to filter and camera filter. And here do some final color grading, maybe a little bit of the contrast, maybe open the shadows a little bit, add a little bit of clarity and texture if we want to emphasize the texture 
of the cards also a little bit more maybe uh, vibrance and uh, if you want like I like like to add a little bit more vignetting here to feather it and also you know that I love to add color grading love to add a blue in the darks so a little bit of the bluish tone like that let's see i like to emphasize and lower it down so this is it so before and after you can see before and after let's press ok and let's go right here and let me show you this is this is the photo that we started with a lot of mess <laughs> not nothing else here and this is the final result and as you can see it's pretty cool it's pretty easy to create and you don't need to use cards you can use any objects something really cool and fun you can use simple flowers you can use kitchen elements you can use i don't know whatever comes to your mind to create some really cool uh impacting image that you will put on socials to, as a commercial of something or whatever so this is amazing trick just use tripod use several different photos bunch throw several objects together and just combine them in photoshop like this and that's it guys, check out my other channel if you want to have some fun and uh, learn some new skills and also check Envato Elements down there in the description and enjoy their, their content too. See you next week in next one episode. Bye bye.